with Paul Brinkman, and we are in the Paleontology and Geology Lab, and we are going to show you around and look at some of the artifacts in the space. Do overwhelmingly fossil vertebrate preparation. What that means is um, the, the people who work in the lab and the people who volunteer here, our students, we collect fossils in the field. In places like Utah or even in North Carolina, there's plenty of fossils in North Carolina. We collect them there and then we bring them back here. Um, I come from Chicago. I have a PhD in history of science from the University of Minnesota. And I have about, uh, I don't even know, I maybe 20 years of experience working in various natural history museums. I've done a few other jobs too where there was a lot of um, interaction with the public, a lot of public mm -hmm. contact. Uh, it's something that I think people who haven't done it before find it a little odd at first, but you quickly get used to it, you quickly learn to ignore what's going on outside the glass. Generally you can't hear it because the glass is pretty thick. You can see it, but it's easy to, I mean, you're usually you're focusing on something inside the lab and you don't even notice what's going on out there. But visitors aren't used to seeing scientists or researchers you know, in their natural habitat. I think it's a rewarding experience mm -hmm. for visitor and subject. So you don't feel like the glass distances uh, you and the museum goers? I think it can, um, and you know, sometimes I do use it as a barrier to sort of, um, I mean, imagine if you, imagine a job where someone could, anyone could interact mm -hmm. with you anytime they wanted, right? You'd never get anything done. <laughs> um, so there are times when, and you know, and I've learned to do this and so have all my colleagues who work in the lab, uh, you know, we learn to ignore, we train ourselves to just ignore what's going on out there. So would you say that um, that interaction changes the way that you approach your work? Well, I mean, the work I think is the same, mm -hmm. um, but it is a different style of presentation. The thing I guess that took some getting used to was um, learning to present in ways that are appealing to the public. My work requires a little bit more background mm -hmm. sometimes to appreciate and I find that I never have the time to, to provide that background. I might have uh, 10 professors from NC State in the audience or I might have 10 kindergartners. I have no idea who I'm going to have. Um, and so it's impossible to anticipate like the level that one has to pitch the talk to. Uh, and often it's multiple levels. But the thing I like the most about the job is that on any given day I might be doing something very unusual. And I, I like that. That makes it fun, I think.